Hey, yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. Who wants to watch a scorpion dominate? Who wants to watch a scorpion, one of the most feared tanks in the game, the scorpion? It's like a insect. It's not like an insect. That, my, my daughter says everything's like. It's not even like an insect. The scorpion is an insect. It has a poisonous sting, and who wants to watch a scorp... Not that scorpion. Not the German scorpion G. Come on. This scorpion. This silly little strange TD. Quite mobile, actually. Sort of has a turret, but they forgot to put the armored bits on the top. I don't quite understand that. Who is this? It is Pilgrim. Pilgrim is back with 13 AD and a platoon of two scorpions and a GW. Hey, wait a minute. How did that happen? Understand what has happened here with a platooned artillery. Anyway, look at this weird thing. Weird, isn't it? They even forgot to give the gunners much of a screen. Very strange. And a great big hole. That's a weak spot right there. If you shoot through that hole, you'll hit the gunner right in the face and kill him. Seriously. All right, so Pilgrim... <laughs> that won't happen. It should, though. Right? It should, with an HE shell. That's an onomatopoeia. That's what that is. All right, so I don't know what the Oni is doing, but it amounts to that. So whatever it was he thought he was doing, that it amounted to dying. He drove right up the middle. Hey, diddle, diddle, right up the middle and died. So Pilgrim has been kicking it back here. He's got his buddy with him, Panzer Wahoo. And we're just sort of tearing up people who aren't paying very much attention. Getting spotted right and left. The Type 64 eats a couple shots and decides he does not like that. Nice timing shot. Didn't quite get there. But pretty soon we're going to have to have some movement, I think. Unless we're just going to camp in the back. I don't know. What do you, what do you guys think? Is Pilgrim going to hang out in the back until the game is won or lost? Or is he going to get on his horse? Do Pilgrims ride horses? I think they more get on wagons, right? I guess, suppose it depends on what kind of pilgrim. If you if you were a pilgrim going to the Holy Land, you might actually get on a horse. I'm thinking more the pilgrims. No, those are settlers. Pilgrims at Plymouth Rock would have been on a boat. I don't know. Perhaps the saying does not count. But let's just say, is he going to drive his TD? His mighty scorpion... You'll note that it has tracks. See how it has tracks? That allows them to move. So far, that hasn't happened, but I'm just I'm throwing that out there, that it's got tracks and wheels on it. it if it needed to, if Pilgrim wanted to, it, it could move. It could move. They've won the North pretty handily. There's an IS-3, but standard act. A bunch of the enemy are camping up near their cap, and this IS-3 is pushing into... Nice shot right there. This IS-3 is pushing into a bunch of guys. So, oh, here we go. T-25. You know what the thing about this Scorpion is? I think, oh my god, he's moving. The tracks do work. The tracks work. You know, this tank has the same basic gun as the T-25. Just, again, they forgot to put the turret on top. Or ran out of weight that they could put on it. So here we go. The T-25 is pushing in. Probably feels like he's about to get in the backfield and dominate. He takes another hit from one of Pilgrim's teammates. We're going to come up here to the high ground and kill him off. No, we, what are we looking over here for? There he is. I think really, Pilgrim, if you'd have gone up on that right there, which is what I thought you were doing, you would have had an easy shot into the side of this turret. We're going to take a kind of peekaboo here and see if we can take him down. Oh, we hit the, hit the sand back and out of this, back down into the pit. There are two artillery on the enemy team, and that is not going to go well for this tank. This tank does not like to be hit by HE or artillery, for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. T-25 dies, Hellcat dies, 12T dies. There goes a bunch of their eyes. It's always nice to get rid of scouts when you're at the mid to late game. That's incredibly important, because their capabilities multiply exponentially when there's fewer guns on the board. Like I said, lots of campers. What's back at the camp? At the cap? Back at the enemy cap? The T25 Mod 1, the Nashorn, the Sturve. Standard. There's a TD up on that spot. Imagine that. And look at this. Look at this. We have two TDs moving forward. I don't know what's got into these guys. I do not what's, I do not what's got into these guys. <laughs> I also don't know what's got into these guys. I don't know what's got into me 
and my voiceover. No idea. Probably too much coffee. Skoda is showing up with 44 hit points. That's a one shot, so I'm sure the platoon is talking about how they're going to handle this guy. We're just going to wait for him to come. Yes, he is coming up. <laughs> That's just... That felt like an assassination, to be quite honest. I don't know how I feel about that whole situation. <laughs> it's like, I'm thinking, Skoda, no, do it! And he did it. He did it. Hard-hitting little scorpion. This is like the little, this is like the eastern, no, wait a minute, the eastern ones are more poisonous, right, in America? I think the eastern scorpions, no, the eastern ones are less poisonous. The west ones are more poisonous. That's how it goes. It's set opposite with rattlers, you know that? The eastern diamondback is incredibly poisonous, and the western one, while poisonous, is not nearly as bad. That's very strange, isn't it? Anyway, this is a scorpion, not a, not a rattlesnake. How come there's no tanks called rattlesnake? Rattler. Is there a tank called a rattler? A rattler. I think you have to say it like that. Rattlesnake just doesn't roll off of the tongue for a tank, does it? No, not like scorpion. Not like scorpion, not at all. The sturve is hanging out in a bush at the cap. That's that's weird. Looks like the 54 Mod 1 is trapped in that pit. No real good way to get out. The A44 has made a break for it and is attempting to change the fight a little bit. There's the Sturve. He is behind a rock, so it looks like Pilgrim's going to... Yes, he is. Pilgrim decides to move forward using the cover of that rock and the essay that the Sturve is not looking at. That was a good move right there. For all of you who don't know that kind of thing, that is how you do it. It is how you... I don't know how... I'm still fuzzy on what happened right there. It's not the Mod 1. No way he could have seen him. Oh, okay. There you go. Look at this. No. Is the Sturv actually above that? Did he back out enough? Somebody help me here. What on earth just happened? I, I have no idea how he was spotted there. It had to be the Sturv. Maybe there he would have been spotted. That was very strange. In any event, ooh, take advantage of that. The Sturv does not turn very fast. and looks like he's about to eat 240 alpha. And there's the artillery. Thank goodness it didn't hit you directly. It did take out 266 with a relatively small gun. The M44 is staring at him as well and decides to try to come up here and see if he can at least splash him a little bit or maybe get lucky. Looks like Pilgrim is not quite sure what to do. He's going to take a look at that. Good job, M44. <laughs> That's 111 on him by shooting through another tank. The turret is a little slow, especially when stunned, but he takes down the M44. And now we've just got to track down this A44 and the 54 Mod 1. I'm going to just come around that corner a lot faster. That Mod 1's not even looking at you. Looking for a highlight. Where is this guy? There he is. Find some rocks. Nicely done right on top, the side top of the turret. And we've got the SP. A44 is getting jumped on, the Type 58 takes it down, but it's actually whistling death. The other platoon mate who nukes him from the red line, or close to it. There's the SP making a runner, and he dies to the Type 58. 1,883 damage, 189 assist. The platoon has seven kills. What else do we got? Seven, uh... Oh, math in public. It looks like eight kills. Eight kills for the platoon. Well, you should have. You're top tier. Come on now. Really good example, all kidding aside, of TD work in a glass cannon kind of TD. Initially, being very careful, when he had shots, he could continue to take them. When the shot well dried up, he moved into position but didn't get so over-aggressive that he rushed in and just picked apart at the flanks until they just kind of nom-nommed and rolled these guys up. Helps to have a platoon to work together. Obviously, that's always a good thing. But nice job, man. Thanks for sending that in. I do appreciate it. And as always, we will see you.